has anything changed in the field of cryptography this year due to the pandemic? Like what has the relevance of cryptography been this year for us, for the people, as opposed, for example, a year ago? Yeah, so that's a, that's a very timely question. Um, I'd say I'd say not so much relevance, although I, I'm, I can think of two things that are, I think, interesting when it comes to cryptography and, and COVID-19. Um, the first thing is that I have a colleague, uh, Costas, who has been working on a proof of solvency, meaning proofs that we have the assets uh, that our users have, meaning if, if our users have, uh, if, imagine if we have $1 billion and we want to prove to you because our users hold $1 million in total, and we want to prove to you that indeed we have that in the bank, uh, we can prove it to you without revealing too much about our users, uh, how much individually they own or these kind of things. And he, he created that for us, but he also looked into COVID-19 and if we could use that to actually uh, have these sorts of proofs that governments could publish, uh, that, would, that would be verifiable and that would tell you kind of the states of, uh, of how many people have been tested with COVID-19. And as individuals, you could verify if you're in that proof. And if you're not in that proof, and, but you have a, a proof that you've been tested positive, you could publish it and this would invalidate the, the results that the government has published. Um, I don't think anybody's using that, but I thought that was interesting. I don't think governments would want to use that. Uh, but it's a good way to have more transparency without really uh, revealing too much. Um, the other thing I can think about is contact tracing, uh, which I think is becoming more of a thing uh, depending on the country where you are. And uh, contact tracing, as I understand it, is uh, how do you make sure that two people who met, uh, if two people meet and later on you you realize that one of these person had COVID-19, how can we make sure that we can contact the other person to tell them you need to quarantine? And we can create applications for that, but it comes with a lot of uh, privacy implications, as in, no, the government maybe can, can tell who you're meeting, where you're going, uh, can tell your social graph and these kind of things. And cryptography can have a role there, right? We can use maybe zero knowledge proofs or different primitives to kind of add privacy to this kind of, uh, of new um, applications. So it's one, another way that cryptography can impact um, something related to the COVID-19, but I'm not sure if it's actually used in practice. Thank you very much. Your book is Real World Cryptography, published by Manem Publications. Thank you for speaking with me today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me.